من لله عبادا فطنا طلقوا الدنيا وخافوا الفتنا نظروا فيها فلما علموا أنها ليست لحي وطنا جعلوها لجة واتخذوا صالح الأعمال فيها سفنا إن لله عبادا فطنا طلقوا الدنيا وخافوا بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وليه الصالحين وأشهد أن محمدا أبده رسول السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته dear brothers and sisters this is Gabriel Romani with another reminder a reminder to benefit us inshallah in this dunya and the akhirah Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said that the strong believer المؤمن القوي the strong believer Ahab with Allah, it is he is more or she is more beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala than the weak one. But in both of them there's khair because in the believer for saying Ashadwa la ilaha illallah, for saying Ashadwana Muhammad Rasulullah, for believing Allah, for fulfilling the five pillars of Islam, for fulfilling the six pillars of Iman, there's khair in them. However, the strong one, the one that is strong minded, strong bodied has the abilities, the skills, he is more beloved to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Why? Because this person, they benefit others as well, not only themselves. The weaker person, you know, they'll pray, they'll fast, they'll do things uh, for themselves to benefit them, um, whatever to their limitations, of course. And there's khair in that because they're making tawbah, they're reading Quran, they're good to their families, uh, they do good things, al-amal uh, salih and all that. But in terms of benefiting others, in terms of bringing izza to this ummah, not so much. And Allah knows best. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us amongst those who bring izza to Islam. But for the strong believer, the person who has strength physically, mentally, financially, uh, skills, they are able to benefit others. Afwaja, in groups, big numbers, they can change the course of, of, of the events that are taking place. They can benefit the weak. They can help those who are in need. They can be the leaders of this ummah. And we have the likes of Khalid ibn Walid. Who was Khalid ibn Walid? Was he the person that was just in the masjid? Today, if you're in the masjid, you're making dua, you're reading Quran, mashallah, you're an amazing Muslim. Khalid ibn Walid was someone who did the basics, no doubt. He was an abid, he was a servant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But when it came to what he had to do, he laid it down. And he laid it down in the best way that no one could challenge him. And we know who Khalid was, Sayyidullah, the sword of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is the one who received this title from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is the one who has led the Ummah. Where are the Khalids? Where are the Salahuddin's? Where are the Umar Khattab's? Where are the Ali radiallahu anhum's? Radiallahu anhum ajma'in. Where are these people? Where are the Abu Hanifas? Where are the Imam Ahmeds? Where are they? So you see, when you look at the life of these people, you'll find that they were not only righteous, not only servants, not only worshippers, but they were people who did things. They're people who were, who were movers, who were shakers, who influenced, who basically connected the Ummah to this to the Akhirah, but at the same time to this dunya. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us, فَابْتَغِي فِي مَا أَتَاكَ اللَّهِ أَدَّارُ الْآخِرَةِ وَلَا تَنْسَى نَصِيبَكَ مِنَ الدُّنْيَا Search or seek with what Allah is giving you the hereafter. No doubt, this is the direction that we should seek. But don't forget your part of this dunya. So brothers and sisters, we have to develop ourselves. We have to get out of this shell where we're just kind of like okay i'm praying i'm fine i'm reading the quran i'm fine i'm maybe fasting mondays and thursdays i'm fine i'm praying qiyam i'm fine the sahaba radiallahu anhum didn't necessarily just um, compete in these things they competed in bringing real change to this world to benefit human beings <clears throat> to benefit the weak ones to help them to support them to protect them from oppression to protect them from dhulm this is the job of the strong ones not to oppress not to take and use the strength in the wrong manner. No, that's not what it is. It is to support, to help, to develop, to build, to lead this world to Islam, to the correct uh, belief, to the correct way. 
And this is the most beneficial thing because when Islam is leading, then people will be given their rights. When Islam is at the forefront, then people will be protected. Be, it, be them of whatever religion, be them of whatever denomination or whatever things, people will be given their rights. They'll be given their limitations, but their rights. But today, in today's world, we find that that's not the case. People are claiming, وَإِذَا قِيلَ لَهُمْ لَا تُفْصِدُوا فِي الْأَرْضِ قَالُوا إِنَّمَا نَحْنُ مُصْلِحُونَ and when it is said to them, don't make facade, don't make or spread falsehood and injustice and discrimination and don't destroy and plunder and so on, on the earth they'll say, we're peacemakers, we make peace. Isn't that, brothers and sisters, the case of what we hear today? <laughs> no, indeed, Allah SWT says, indeed they are those who are causing mischief and corruption. Um, but they do not feel it, they don't know it, they don't get it. They don't get it. So brothers and sisters, we need to get out of our shell. We need to start developing. We need to wake up early. We need to start moving around. We need to exercise. We need to get strong physically. We need to develop, take some training courses. We need to learn. Yes, we need to be connected to the Akhirah, but we need to do that, take the Asbab in this dunya to become the next leaders, to become those intellectuals who are able to stand and to fight that intellectual war that is being put out forth against Islam all over in the media, newspapers, you name it. On all the platforms, people are fighting Islam, banning hijab, uh, banning the elements of Islam, uh, telling, t t telling people or trying to spread this false, uh, unjust uh, fallacy that Islam is terrorism and all that. We need to counter that, we, but we need intellectuals, we need people who can stand up in a debate, we need people who have the financial leverage, we need people who are able to speak back, who are able to influence, who are able to make, to bring the uh, evidence and settle the argument. So brothers and sisters, stop sleeping, stop wasting time, stop wasting time and wake up, look at what you're good at, look at your skill. It might take a long time to develop other skills, but everyone is good at something. Allah SWT has given everyone something. So look at what you are good at and do that, develop that, perfect that with ikhlas, with ihsan, and benefit the ummah. Unite, cooperate, um, network, something that we don't do as a Muslim ummah. And you'll find, inshallah, that Allah SWT will bring the victory. إِذَا جَاءَ نَصْرُ اللَّهِ وَالْفَاتِحِ وَرَأَيْتَ النَّاسَ يَدْخُلُونَ فِي دِينِ اللَّهِ أَفْوَاجَ فسبح بحمد ربك واستغفر إنه كان توابا جزاكم الله خير والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته